Welcome, everyone. Thank you all for your presence. I am Dr. Michelle Samura, the Associate Dean for Undergraduate Education and External Affairs and Associate Professor in the Italo College of Educational Studies at Troutman University. We're gathering today to celebrate the signing of the Chapman Transfer Admission Guarantee, or CTEG, for future educators. The new CTEG agreement is specially designed, it's a specially designed pathway for future elementary and special education teachers. And it offers a seamless transfer experience from Santa Ana College into Chapman's Integrated Educational Studies major. Today's gathering also is a celebration and recognition of the valuable collaboration between Chapman University and Santa Ana College. So during our time together, we will hear various perspectives on the importance of such a collaboration for the future of K through 18 education in Orange County, including remarks from Rancho Santiago Community College District Chancellor Marvin Martinez, Santa Ana College President Marilyn Flores, and Troutman University President Daniele Strupa. I'm delighted and honored to co-host this event with my respective Santa Ana colleague, Dr. Vanithia Hubbard. Dr. Hubbard? Thank you, Dr. Samora. Hi, I'm Dr. Vanithia Hubbard, Vice President of Student Services at Santa Ana College. And we are extremely excited about the transfer agreement guarantee for it will increase the awareness of Chapman University as a viable academic option for Santa Ana College students. We hope to strengthen our partnership for the future education and to re-engage students and challenge their views of what education looks like today and to boldly reimagine what it could look like in the future. I'm extremely proud and thankful for all of the hard work between our two institutions. Over the past few years, we were able to develop this pathway agreement and admissions guarantee. I especially want to extend a heartfelt thank you to Dr. Steve Bautista, Counselor and Coordinator of Santa Ana College's Center for Teacher Education and the entire Center for Teacher Education team for bringing this agreement to fruition. I'd also like to express my appreciation and gratitude to Dr. Linda Rose, former president at Santa Ana College, to Dr. Jeff Lamb, Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Maria De La Cruz, the Dean of Counseling, Ms. Paula Canzano, Counselor Articulation Officer, Dr. Maria, Dr. Mary Funuka, Chair, Child Development and Education Studies, Dr. Larissa Sergeva, Dean of Human Services and Technology, and Ms. Christina Romero, the Executive Director for the Office of College Advancement. Please join me in acknowledging everyone listed on the slide who helped to make this agreement possible for Santa Ana College. And I also want to thank everyone at Chapman who made this agreement, the pathway and admission guarantee possible. And as you can see from the very long list of names, there are a lot of people of Chapman who are a part of the CTEG ecosystem. And I especially want to recognize Dr. Glenn Pfeiffer, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs, Mike Pelly, Vice President and Dean of Enrollment, Cheryl Bourgeois, Executive Vice President and Chief Academic Officer, Shannon Krogan, our Director of Transfer Admissions, our University Registrar team with our University Registrar, Jan McEwen, Patricia Mickelson, our Assistant Registrar, Jonathan Chares, our Articulation Specialist, Kim Padulo, our Past Coordinator of the IES Program, the Atala Dean's Office team, uh, Cheryl Baltus, Dominic Trin, and Ergy Hein, and the full IES team, Quaylin Ellen, Jody Brown, Stephanie Cuevas, Kristen Dorn, Kelly McCune, Marie Nubia Feliciano, and Jorge Rodriguez. Thank you to everyone who's listed on the slide and offices and programs they represent for all their hard work that makes this possible. And building upon Dr. Hubbard's point about partnering to reimagine the future of education, Chapman University looks forward to welcoming Santa Ana College students through the CTEG, and the IS major is the perfect program for future educators who want to make positive changes 
in both global and local communities. At this time, we'd like to present a short video message from members of our Santa Ana College and Chapman University communities on the importance of the CTAG for future educators. Hello, I'm so happy to share with you the news about Chapman's CTAG partnership. As someone who herself went to community college as part of her own bachelor's degree pathway toward teaching, I am so excited that Chapman has partnered with our local community colleges to emphasize the importance of teaching as a career in public schools. Now more than ever, it's important for us to provide a diverse and representative workforce of teachers to all of our K-12 students. We especially wanna emphasize that there's a national teacher shortage and elementary school teachers and special education teachers are needed more now than ever. We hope that all of you at our partner community colleges will consider teaching as a career and will come to us at Chapman, a nationally accredited and community focused college of education to pursue your career. Hello, my name is Jorge Facio Rodriguez, assistant professor in the integrated educational studies program within the Atala College of Education. I was born and raised in Santana, and I am proud to say that I am an alumni class of 2002 from Santa Ana College. I am excited about the CTAG partnership as this relationship will sprout generative possibilities amongst our mutual institutions and communities. I am looking forward to working with our CTAG students and engaging in meaningful and relevant scholarship. The Chapman University's proximity to its surrounding urban context and the integrated educational studies program's approach to education set the stage for a participative and multi-directional education. I look forward to this partnership and further engaging the possibilities it will bring. There's a lot of surveys that show that teachers today knew they wanted to become a teacher before they enter college. Um, and community colleges are the beginning point for many, many students in higher education in California, uh, particularly students from diverse backgrounds. And so at most community colleges and like Santa Ana College, we have a tremendous amount of teachers, future teachers who begin their journey with us uh, and having academic pathways that lead to transfer um, and even with a CTAG guarantee to a university are very beneficial for them as they uh, progress and go through their journey through community college. Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Quinn Allen and I'm an associate professor in the IS program and director of first generation programs here at Chapman University. Chapman defines a first generation student as a student whose parents or legal guardian have not completed a bachelor's degree. And for those students who identify as first gen, the university provides programs and resources that are designed to support the professional, academic, and social development of first gen students, as well as giving students access to a strong community of first gen students, staff, and faculty who are all passionate about supporting first gen success. Students who participate in CTAG will also experience an IS program that is affirming of the knowledge and experience that students bring into the classroom and prepare students to become excellent educators through culture relevant and community-based practical experiences in schools, as well as the communities that reside with them. It is a critically important time to be an educator in today's society. And we're excited to have so many amazing future educators join us here at Chapman University as we try to change education and change the world. Hi everyone, my name is Lily Angel. Um, I decided I wanted to be a teacher probably when I was in high school. Um, I really, really knew I wanted to go back and make a change. Um, I wanted to be able to help kids that aren't seen as the star student, um, you know, the troublemakers. I um, feel really strongly about that and I would like to become a teacher at a school where I, I myself can make an impactful change um, on a few students and maybe inspire other teachers to feel the same way. Hello, I'm Christina Romero, Executive Director of the Office of College Advancement and Foundation at Santa Ana College. It is such an honor to be a part of this partnership and to represent the philanthropic component of this important collaborative. 
we know that many of our students are able to move through their educational goals because of the power of philanthropy. Today, Chapman University and Santa Ana College invite you to become a part of our game-changing philanthropy family. Scholarships are priceless, just ask our students. We want to shine more light on the scholarships and the investments that have been made that have allowed many students to be a part of this partnership and will allow many more to be a part of it in the future. Join us, walk with us, and our students so that they can become who they were meant to be. For more information, please visit sac.edu slash foundation or chapman.edu slash education. As someone who has been committed to the work of preparing teachers for the past 20 years, I truly can't think of a more critical time for us to be thinking and working um, collectively on the recruitment and preparation of K-12 teachers. Um, we need teachers who not only represent the communities that they come out of and work in, um, but also are committed to critical values, justice, equity, and inclusion. I can't think of a better time or a more important time for us to be thinking about how we might partner across higher education institutions to really work to develop just, equitable, and inclusive educators. Wonderful. Thank you to everyone at Santa Ana College and Chapman University for making this video possible. If you missed the video, it will be posted online and a link will be provided in a follow-up email. At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Marvin Martinez, Chancellor for Rancho Santiago Community College District. As Chancellor of one of the largest community college districts in the state of California, Mr. Martinez oversees a district that covers one quarter of the land area of Orange County, registers an annual enrollment of more than 80,000 students, and is one of the largest employers in the region with more than 4,000 employees. Rancho Santiago Community College District has eight major facility locations, including the main college campuses of Santa Ana College and Santiago Canyon College. Chancellor Martinez previously served as president of East Los Angeles College, where under his leadership, the number of transfers to UC and Cal State University systems rose dramatically. And according to Hispanic Outlook on Education Magazine, the college ranked number one in California for community college degrees and certificates granted to Hispanic students in 2017. He also served as president of Los Angeles Harbor College from 2010 through 2013, where he made significant gains and student success. Mr. Martinez has served as a member of the board of the chief executive officers for California Community Colleges since 2015, and is also a member of the College Board's Community College Advisory Panel, which works to promote national recognition of the role community colleges play in providing access to higher education. Please join me in welcoming Chancellor Martinez. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you, Dr. Harbour, for that uh, a wonderful introduction. I really appreciate that. You know, I am honored. I am so honored to be part of what you're doing today. Um, you know, just like any partnership, uh, it takes a while. And I, and I see that you have been part of this for the last two years. Uh, and in order to create the kind of program you just put together, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort takes a lot of perseverance. So first and foremost, I want to thank both teams from Santa Ana College and from Chapman University who have worked very hard to create an incredible program that will change lives for many students. Uh, it is a difference maker. And, and I really want to thank for all the time and effort you have put in in making that happen. Uh, I, I, of course, I want to say hello to Dr. Daniel Estrupa. Uh, Dr. Michelle Samora uh, and, and many of the staff members that are here from Chapman University. Uh, I had a chance to visit uh, Chapman University 
uh, where Dr. Strupa hosted me when I began here as chancellor uh, a little bit over a year ago. And I had a chance to uh, walk the campus and to learn a lot about Chapman University. It is no doubt a gem in our community. It is no doubt a world-class university. As I mentioned to Dr. Strupa as we're walking around, Dr. Strupa, there's a lot of our students at SAC who want to come here. They want to be here and they want to be part of this wonderful university. And, and I'm glad that this is happening. And I'm glad students from Santa Ana College will have an opportunity to be part of a wonderful university like Chapman University, but also to pursue a career in teacher preparation so they can be our future teachers one day. Um, so again, I, I am really thankful for what you're doing. Um, Santa Ana College, as most of you know, is one of the premier community colleges in the country. It is a college that serves many first time in college students. Many of the students are low income. Many students are students of color. And for many of them, it will be a dream come true to go to Chapman and to walk the campus and to be part of that campus and to graduate and earn their degrees from Chapman. So I could not be any more excited for our students, any more excited for the staff who put together this program. Uh, let me also thank Dr. Hubbard uh, and also uh, Dr. Steve Bautista and other administrators from SAC who I know have worked very hard to make this happen and to put it all together. Uh, and obviously, uh, this is the first part of making this program work and you've done great. Now comes the hard part, which is implementing this program. Uh, and But I know that you will do a great job. And the once students hear about it and get word of that this program exists, I think you will have a long, long line of students who want to be part of it. And for all of us, that's a dream country. So once again, uh, Dr. Strupa, your, 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 Dr. Samora, your administrators, and of course, all the administrators from Santa Ana College, thank you for making this happen. You will change lives. You will make dreams come true. Uh, and that's what we do as educators. That's how we roll, as we like to say. So anyone that note, everyone, thank you. And I'll turn it over to Dr. Hubbard. Thank you, Chancellor Martinez. At this time, I'd like to introduce the Santa Ana College Interim President, Dr. Marilyn Flor Flores, who previously served as the Vice President of Academic Affairs at Santiago Canyon College. She oversaw four academic divisions and also served as the Chief Instructional Officer and the Accreditation Liaison Officer. Formerly, Dr. Flores held the position of Dean of Arts, Humanities, Social Sciences, and Library Divisions at Santiago Canyon College. President Flores earned a PhD in Institutional Leadership and Policy Studies from University of California at Riverside. She earned a Master's of Arts degree in Education with a bilingual cross-cultural language and academic development teaching credential at University of California, Los Angeles, and a Bachelor's degree in Liberal Studies with a concentration in education in Spanish at the University of California, Riverside. President Flores' commitment to providing excellent educational opportunities for students is evident in her long-standing career in community college academia and leadership as a vice president, dean, associate dean, program director, consultant, and researcher. She has been honored as educator of the year at the Inland Empire Hispanic Image Awards and received a Hispanic Border Leadership Institute Doctoral Fellowship at the University of California, Riverside. Please join me in welcoming President Marilyn Flores. Thank you, Dr. Hubbard. As you know, Santa Ana College has been in the community for 100 years and we serve more than 30,000 students each year. We are a leader and a partner to the community while meeting workforce needs. Recently, we enhanced our mission statement to be a more concise and powerful mes message, which is Santa Ana College inspires, transforms, and empowers a diverse community of learners. With that said, the Center for Teacher Education at Chapman University continues to be a resource that provides students that are interested in teaching with information, academic advising, and resources. 
Our emphasis is to build support, grow our partnerships and enhance all opportunities to prepare our students to their pathway in a meaningful employment such as teaching. This partnership with Chapman University is not only in alignment with the college's mission, but my vision as an interim president to ensure that we continue to strengthen our academic and student services programs, to deliver our, on our initiatives and to enhance our communication and relationships with our stakeholders, the community and institutions of higher education. Our students have started their education at Santa Ana College, transferred to universities and obtained their teaching degrees and credentials. They're teaching, advancing to related educational professions like principals and doing extremely well. While I have many wonderful stories and student testimonials I could share about students transferring to Chapman University, we know that with our partnership, we'll continue, we will continue to develop our program and opportunities for our students and community. We are honored to join this important partnership with Jap Chapman University. This collaborative model will build upon our relationship while promoting a unique program that clears a pathway for future teachers, which is in alignment with our guided pathways model to ensure our students to stay on path towards completion. The new Chapman Transfer Admission Guarantee, CTAG, agreement will create a direct pipeline for our students to transfer. Together, we will address the shortage of educators, enhance the regional workforce, and better serve our community. I also too would like to thank Chapman University and Santa Ana College leadership and faculty who work together to make this partnership a reality. I am honored here to represent Santa Ana College and to sign our agreement. Thank you. Thank you for your message, President Flores. And again, thank you, Chancellor Martinez and President Flores for being a part of the celebration. Um, I'd also like to take this time to thank three senior leaders who were instrumental in the realization of the CTAG. First is Santa Ana College's President Linda Rose, who retired in July. We had hoped to celebrate the CTAG this past spring, uh, but due to unforeseen circumstances, we had to postpone the celebratory event. And we wish Dr. Rose the very best in her retirement. Um, in fact, Dr. Rose was one of our keynote speakers at Chapman's 2019 Women's Leadership Forum. And we know her personal stories and profound leadership have inspired and continue to inspire our students and educational communities. Next is Dr. Margaret Grogan, uh, our past Dean of the Atala College who began her sabbatical in June and will return as Professor of Educational Leadership and Policy Analysis in the Atala College. We are grateful for her service to the Atala College and continuous supportive efforts to provide access and opportunities for underrepresented or overlooked populations. And finally, Dr. Glenn Pfeiffer, who will step down as provost of Chapman University at the end of this academic year. We also wanna thank you for your continued support of the transfer, Chapman Transfer Admission Guarantee and our renewed commitment to pathways for transfer students into Chapman University. And now I'd like to introduce Danielle C. Strupa, the 13th president of Chapman University. President Strupa joined Chapman University in 2006 as provost, during which time he guided academic affairs for 10 years mm -hmm. until his appointment to president in 2016. Prior to Chapman University, he was the Dean of George Mason University's College of Arts and Sciences for nine years. President Strupa holds the Donald Bren Presidential Chair in Mathematics and is an engaged educator someone who's deeply committed to doing what is best for our students. And so without further ado, please join me in welcoming President Strupa. Well, thank you very much, uh, Michelle. So thank to you and to Dr. Hubbard um, for all your leadership and for making this happen. I wanna thank uh, President Flores uh, and I wanna compliment you I, because uh, you were formerly in charge of academic Santiago Canyon College, and one of my daughters, who's actually graduating now from Chapman University, spent a year at Santiago Canyon College. And I remember taking her in the morning before going to work 
And uh, I have to tell you, she had a phenomenal experience, great faculty, great support. I think you guys do a terrific job. I'm so happy to see my friend, uh, Chancellor Marvin Martinez, is a good friend I'm always happy to see. And uh, I, I was really happy, Marvin, to hear you uh, reminisce about the first time we met uh, on, on our campus when we walked around and we were sharing ideas. And it is interesting to see how our ideas are actually very much in, in, the, same, in the same direction. And uh, I, I had to tell you, you, you said very kind words about Chapman and I'm grateful for what you said. But I want to reciprocate, and everybody who knows me know that I always say that the community college system in California is really one of the hidden gems of the state. Uh, it's, a, it's a system that really helps, uh, in a way, I would say, fits more than any other institution, this idea of, of uh, vertical mobility. And that's what education is all about. So thank you for, for uh, your leadership as well, and thank you for being here today. I want to thank everybody, San Ana College at Chapman University, all of you who made this pathway possible, and in particular, this celebration today. And I think it's, uh, I, we should stop for a moment and just notice how remarkable it is that you have been pushing forward throughout this horrible pandemic. You have not been stopped by the challenges, by the remoteness, by the, the depression that comes in when you can't go to work and you have to stay home and, and, and you simply just didn't give up and push forward. And now that's what gives us today. So thank you. Thank you for, for this. Um, I'm also very happy to see there are two of our trustees that are in the audience. I looked at the list of people in attendance. And one of them is Donna Atalla, who is the namesake of our Atalla College of Educational Studies. Donna, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you for your love, your affection, your commitment. For those of you who don't know, Donna was herself a teacher, first grade teacher. Uh, I think her kids must were, were very lucky. Those who ended up being her pupils in first grade. Donna has a tremendous love for education and a tremendous commitment. And I'm absolutely thrilled that you are here with us to celebrate. The other trustee that is here with us tonight is uh, Andy Orowitz together with his uh, wife, Dr. Pam Orowitz. And I'm, I'm so happy to, well, I, I was going to say I'm so happy to see you, but I can't see you, but I, I see you in spirit. So thank you, Andy and, and Pam. Uh, you need to know, those of you who don't know them, is that Andy and Pam are great supporters of the Atala College, but more generally, really, they understand the tremendous value, tremendous importance that education has for Orange County and for our nation. I think they are among the most committed people I've ever met. They, they I, you know, we exchange emails constantly, sometimes too constantly, <laughs> but uh, it's it just, uh, it just wonderful to see that their tremendous commitment. And um, I was very happy when uh, uh, Vanisha Hubbard uh, spoke about something that I know resonates very well with both uh, Andy and, and Dr. Pam Horowitz. And that's the idea of boldly reimagining education. Thank you, Venetia, for using those expressions. I think that that's what this is all about. Uh, we are not here to perpetuate systems that already exist. We are here to really boldly reimagine. Thank you for reminding us of that. I think that's extremely important. So the question is, why is Chapman here? Why are we doing this? Well, uh, just uh, like I said before, whenever I talk about uh, education, I speak about our community college system. But the other thing that I always say is that the university is only as good as the relationship it has with the community. We value our relationship because we understand that we are just a small part of a community. And the only way for us to succeed is to succeed and be successful and to help the community succeed. And so we look forward to continue to work and to learn from and with partners such as Santa Ana College. And uh, Chapman is on a path to becoming a more diverse and more inclusive, more equitable campus. And we can learn a lot from you. And I know that the collaboration, the partnership is going to make this more visible for us. Uh, as we fulfill our mission, which is, uh, uh, if you read it, is to prepare our students to, to be global citizens. Uh, well, we need to realize that global citizen be begins at home here in Orange County. Um, I think that uh, this new partnership uh, between Santa Ana College and Chapman is really the key to the strengthening of our relationship with the, with the community. And I'm very proud to be here with you today to formalize our agreement. I, I think this agreement is going to increase the pathways to higher education for local residents and for communities that don't always have an easy access to education. And those are exactly our, our constituency here, the people that we need to help so that they can think and dream and enhance a better future. 
all of us here in the in the audience and and uh, on the panel, we've all been students, right? We've been students in kindergarten first, uh, and then in in grade school, and then uh, junior high, high school, college, and some of us uh, graduate school. And so we all know how big of a role schools play in in uh, in a young person's life. I, I if you take just a second to think back, I'm sure you remember your first grade teacher. I do. Uh, her name was Paul Lastri, that was her last name. And uh, I remember her love, her affection, her, her, her commitment to us. And I remember when uh, after three grades in Italy, you stay with the same teacher for a while. So I had her from first to third grade. And then in fourth grade, I had to change. And during the summer, I was crying because I, I didn't want to, to, to lose her. But in a way, I never lost her. She's still with me. And so I, I know that each one of us has a memory of people that have changed our life. And that's why I think our partnership is so important. And that's why we are so pleased to support future educators, like those we, we saw in the, in the beautiful video at the beginning of, the, of this event. Future educators that will go through this partnership. And I look forward to our CTAG students to be the first of many to walk the halls, both of Santa Ana College and Chapman University. Thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Michelle? Yes. Thank you, President Strupa. Um, and so now I would like to invite uh, and ask both President Flores and President Strupa to please sign the certificate celebrating the new transfer trans Trapman transfer admission guarantee, and then to hold them up and show them to our attendees. Fantastic. Over to you, President Strupa. Well, thank you. I, I want to thank again uh, President Flores for having joined me in this very important formal moment. And I would like, before closing, to celebrate our commitment with an important announcement. Uh, for the first cohort of incoming transfer students from Santa Ana College, Chapman University will provide five full tuition scholarships. We are really committed to the success of the transfer student and to education of our future teachers. And we think that this is a small sign of our commitment. So thank you again for, for this wonderful event. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you, President Strupa, for Chapman University's commitment to our Santa Ana College transfer students and the financial support for five full-time scholarships for our first cohort. Thank you so much, we greatly appreciate it. We look forward to having some of our stellar and outstanding community college students join Chapman University to complete their undergraduate education in the integrated education studies major and earn their bachelor's degree. In our closing slides, you will see details on how you're able to learn more about the CTAG and support our students. For students interested in the Santa Ana College transfer pathway to Chapman University, we will have follow-up opportunities to learn more and attend some interactive sessions with faculty and current integrated education studies students. For our donors and supporters, I'd like to invite you to join us in creating high impact opportunities for student achievement. At Santa Ana College, we are committed to inspire, transform, and empower a diverse community of learners. So please contact Ms. Christina Romero, the Executive Director for the Office of College Advancement at Santa Ana College by visiting the website at www.rtgcampaign.org or contact the Center for Teacher Education at www.sac.edu slash CTAG for additional information. Thank you, Dr. Hubbard. And I too invite you all to support our transfer students and future educators by contacting me, by contacting Chapman or visiting our website at chapman.edu backslash C dash tag um, for links for more information about the seeing tag or links to giving. I hope you will consider supporting the CTAG for Future Educators, a transformative partnership that will lead to outstanding educators, excellent schools, and even stronger communities. Thank you again for your presence today. We wish you all a wonderful evening. <laughs>